All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. Now, last time we left off, thank you, train. We failed miserably at killing this bastard because he is an absolute douche nozzle. I don't remember it being this difficult. Here we've seen this already twice. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Ah! Put the gun away. Get off the floor, you twat. Missed, come back here, you. That's good, Snake. I know. Right. Now we can fight as warriors. I've got this. Concentration is the key here. Where have you gone? There you are. Come on, chase me around. Oh, you got lucky, mate. Woo! Glorious. I've got three rations all of a sudden. How did that happen? I thought I had two. Oh my god. Got you, son. That hurt. Come on, ninja boy. But yeah, I failed miserably last time I did this. That's fucking cheating. Come on. Ooh. You got fucking lucky there, son. Come on. Make me feel alive again, Snake. Back here. You paper wielding psychopath. How'd you get. Ah. Come on now. Yeah, come on now. Ooh. Wait, do I have any chaff grenades? I got no chaff grenades. God damn it. We've gone away, Snake. There's some chaff grenades. That's what I wanted to use. <laughs> Can I kick him once? Chuck the other one. Come on now. Ah, flawless. Genius plan this is. Got one left. <laughs> Some may call this cheap. Others may not call this cheap. Where have you gone? We've got this. We can do this, team. Team Leroy. This series has just quite a lot of positive... Oh, fuck me. Where's he gone? Positive support, and I do thank you for it. Whoa! Oh, now he goes invisible, eh? Okay. For this, we're going to use these. Where are you hiding, shitbag? Now where are you hiding? Yeah, where's that? I don't know where that is. Put that ration though. There you are. First lick on you, son. Wait, just in case. I want his blood. There he is. Quicker than you, son. What's with the cutscene thing? The cutscene seems to have repaired itself. I haven't got the stupid. Uh, where have you gone? 
Kusslau. Oh, fuck me. I will hurt you. You like it, do you? Miss Prick, we're gonna beat him. We're gonna beat him, team. Come on. Oh shit! Wow. Fuck off, ninja man. That's right. What? That hurt. I forgot about that. <laughs> Must run away. Gun. Let's use a gun for this shit. Where have you gone? Where are you? I hear. I hear the. Uh, I hear fucking Moss Psycho Madness. I remember you. Can't be. I think it can. You killed in Zanzibar. Uh, excuse me. Oh, there he is again. What? Not again. On your pussy. Where's your sword? Alright, so that went rather well. That went particularly well indeed. Grey Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Grey Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently for their Excuse test me. subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's Harsh. genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. <laughs> I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Harsh, but fair. Now, this little piss pan. Oh, police notes! I remember that poster. How long are you gonna stay in there? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. So hard, Snake. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. <laughs> we can't stay here forever. What a world to save, motherfucker. Your uniform is different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? 
You know me? I heard about you from Meryl. Oh, so you're here to rescue me? Nope. Sorry, but no. <laughs> There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Uh, you piss your pants. Are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire. Except for I that missile. Know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear equipped walking death mobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. Go on, no, Snake. you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. Kick his ass. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. <laughs> only. He says only. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? <laughs> Apparently so, there, dear boy. You'll seem to have been misinformed. Yeah, but that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Yes. Well, I've forgotten. It's been a few years since Metal game. Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. They were. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So no, this fucked exercise up now. was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <laughs> damn. <laughs> such, damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. Don't cry, little fella. Snake will save the day. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. Can't see shit, it's white. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father... He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. Nuclear fucked We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. Can I play now, please? I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Pussy. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Down below. Come on, let me play the damn game. Blood boy, it's not it's not a film. God bless you, Rex Metal Gear. Is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? 
north of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there, too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. Oh no. Which isn't the final boss. Spoiler. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, <clears throat> you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're going to destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. Give me your stuff. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. You've got a button that makes you into a cloud. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Not anymore, she's not. Oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! Meryl, what happened? There's a few graphical Something's glitches. wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing <clears throat> the same green uniform as the terrorists. It was her ass that you can remember. I guarantee you now. But like, oh, she had a fan ass. A disguise? She had such a cute way of There you walking. go. She kind of wiggles her behind. Good pervert. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. All I can see is clouds at the minute. All I can see is clouds. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. The shitter. Don't be so dense. Don't the toilet. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? <laughs> What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And otaku's a guy like me who likes Japan animation. <coughs> Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Fucking Transformers. It just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. The greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Good man. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Oh, wow. I'm on frequency 141.12. looking quite blatant See to me, later. mate. You're looking quite obvious like that, I must say. You're flashing yellow. You look like a goddamn fucking Pikachu. Oh. Life bar extended. And we're good to go. So. Now. Just load that up. Um, get all the shit from in here. And make my way somewhere else. So, gone bullets. Get off the wall. 
We're level four. Card is now a level. Where got no? Where's all my fucking rations gone? Oh my goodness! I appear to have used all my rations fighting that plat. Okay, let's go. Enough chit chat. What's that, famas? How do you get out? Oh, it's over here. Enough chit chat. By the time this episode comes out, I should have started playing Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. <laughs>